Okay, I was dissatisfied with the amount of onion that I had in there. So I cut up some more red and sweet onion. So, here's what the stock's starting to look like with the carrot and the celery in it. Now, the stock is being made from a chicken that we bought at a store, those rotisserie chickens. So, instead of just throwing it away, I'll pick out the meat. But all that is just flavor to your soup. Good thing to remember, the less you waste, the more efficient you are, the more your money goes. The further you can stretch your money. Okay, I've added a little chicken stock broth to this. You can see that, so I'm steaming the onions underneath, and that's coming up through to the mushrooms. That's starting to get a boil to it. Garlic and onions. And this is just going to be, it's going to turn out like that. If you don't like garlic, onion, mushrooms, you're not going to like it. Because it's just really filled with flavor. Very excited about this. Wish you could smell it. Mmm. So, yeah. If I was cooking on a large scale, I'd definitely uh, either bake or barbecue the chickens or pan roast them. Get them all glazed over and mm, sticky skin. Save the skin, throw into a stock pot like this, and boil the fat out of it because the fat is what helps your brain. It makes you feel good too. And the uh, bone marrow inside the bones are really good. But if you want a lot more bone marrow, a beef stock is better. You could add some beef to this, it would make it darker. Um, it's really green because of all the celery, the parsley, and the broccoli that I put in there. I usually put bok choy and ginger in there so but it's usually fresh and just makes me salivate so I've added some more turmeric and garlic oops that's a stem I don't want that um a little more Mrs. Dash in this but you see how it's changing colors, how they're becoming translucent, like that right there, and that one, and this one you can see mushroom underneath, and that's what you want, that means you're getting close to done, but because it's going in a soup, it doesn't matter if they cook away because you want the flavor infused into the broth as well. Oh, we got carrots coming up, and garlic, How about some celery. I'm not seeing a lot of celery. Gotta give it a stir. Oh, it's floating up here at the top. Mm. Lots of garlic and onions. Healing power of Turmeric, it's an anti-inflammatory. The onions, the red onions, I forget what's in it. I want to call it capsation, but I think that's in peppers, hot peppers. So leave, leave me information. I just know what I love to cook and love doing it. I'll add some parsley to this before we're done, and that'll help. Okay. There's the parsley, and there's the uncut parsley. So you want to make it small so that when it's cooking in the broth here, it just pretty much disappears. So, 
We'll keep going.